Hi, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk mountain weather and ski conditions. And we've got a nice powder weekend shaping up with one good storm system for the west and Intermountain West. Uh, Big Sky, the Tetons, the Wasatch, and Colorado all on my list for powder this weekend. And there's Loveland, beautiful day up there. I think Loveland gets 10 to 12 and maybe even some bonus snow on Monday if the low sets up just right. I'll certainly show you all that in the analysis, but that's the Loveland. Here's radar satellite. Look at the moisture streaming in on the diagonal there. Coming out of the Sierra, shooting right up towards the Tetons and Sun Valley and uh, Big Sky. I think Big Sky's in for one to two feet by the time we roll through the weekend. This is gonna be a good flow pattern for Big Sky, but even the Tetons just in general. I'll show you that. And here's the spin. Look at the spin coming out of the Pacific Northwest. So we're gonna lay down some snow in the Pacific Northwest and then entire low will sink in and move across uh, the Four Corners and into Eastern Colorado through the course of time. I show you the jet stream because I want you to look at the green here. By the time we go from today, tonight, and into Saturday morning, look at Saturday by 10. The green, the nose of the jet, blasting the Tetons, big sky, and eventually the Wasatch. So first, it's going to be Idaho, Southwest Montana, and the Tetons. Second, the Wasatch, third, Colorado. As the jet stream takes its time, escorts this storm in from the Pacific Northwest. Here's Monday. Look at Monday. Look at the dip in the jet stream. The low is sitting over the four corners right there and moving through Colorado. Look at the jet hitting the Pacific Northwest. So I'll point that out. That is a second storm system that will follow on the heels of the first. So next week will also be active across the West. Now, if this first low sets up, and I'm going to show it to you here, sets up correctly in Eastern Colorado, we could have bonus snow in Colorado into Monday. All right, so this is uh, the current state of affairs. As we head into time, by the time we get into Saturday morning, it's already snowing in the Tetons. It's piling up during the day. It's already snowing in Big Sky, Sun Valley. I would focus on those areas for new powder Saturday morning. Then it arrives in Utah. It'll start snowing through the morning and then pick up and intensify in the Wasatch during the day on Saturday. Sunday's probably the better powder day once you get the full accumulation on the ground by the time we get into Sunday. Now, here's the snow moving into Colorado by Sunday. The brunt of the storm would be moving into Colorado, only wraparound snows for the Tetons and Wasatch at that point. But by then, we've already got most of the accumulation um, done. Now, here's the thing. It'll snow in Colorado during the day on Sunday. A lot of the accumulation will occur in the mountains on Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday, throughout the day. There could be bonus snow. Look what happens by Monday. Look at the snow on the eastern plains of Colorado. We could have wraparound snows that add some additional accumulations on top of the Continental Divide, Loveland, Winter Park, Eldora, Breck, up towards, up towards Arapaho Basin and Keystone. I'd keep an eye on those areas. And look at the second storm hitting the Pacific Northwest. It's going to come right down on the heels. And this is good snow for Whistler, Baker, and uh, Rainier. Uh, and, and Banff as well with that second storm. So accumulations by Saturday, most of it is light, but in the interior, look at Mammoth all the way up on that diagonal towards Jackson Hole, Big Sky, Grand Target, focus on those areas. By the time we get into Sunday morning, we're talking double digits between one and two feet over the top of Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude, all the way up to Jackson Hole, Grand Target, look at Big Sky, really nice. And the numbers by Sunday morning are pretty light in Colorado, but it will accumulate during the day. And so the numbers will approach their totals in Colorado by the time we go from Sunday into Monday. And you can see it. We're working on 10 to 12 over Loveland. Very nice. Over that entire continental divide corridor north to south, I think you really benefit. And we've approached the totals over uh, the Wyoming area and Utah. But look at the Pacific Northwest. We're in the double digits up there. With that second storm coming in, that's going to be real nice for the Pacific Northwest and even the interior parts of Banff. All right, I really appreciate you tuning in here. It's going to be a good weekend, I think, overall. So always appreciate it. Take care.